And we're back now with our NBC series, Chasing the Cure and the New Efforts to Fight Cancer. This morning, how vigorous exercise may be the key for getting better for some patients. Yeah, NBC senior medical correspondent Dr. John Torres has more now on the innovative new program, Helping Cancer Survivors. Monday through Friday, Lois Bonagario is on her treadmill at 7 a.m. sharp. I feel like I'm flying. I listen to my music, which I love, disco music from 70s. And now, so Lois was diagnosed with stage one breast cancer and had to undergo both chemo and radiation treatment. I felt like the chemo was going through my body and from my head to my toes, it just totally wiped me out and made me really nauseous, so I just laid in bed until the feeling went away. She is now part of a groundbreaking new study asking patients to do vigorous exercise, which goes against everything I learned in my training. The typical medical advice after somebody gets sick or somebody gets injured is to rest. And even after cancer treatments, chemotherapy in particular, for the past few decades, we've been saying, you know, take it easy. This goes against that. Exactly. This work that we're doing suggests that resting and taking it easy is the exact opposite of what patients should be doing. There is a lot of what we call deconditioning that happens to the hearts and your muscles and your blood vessels. Dr. Scott began her career at NASA as an exercise researcher, but now you'll find her at Memorial Sloan Kettering where she's discovered a surprising link. Chemo patients have a lot in common with astronauts in space. What's been most surprising about your research so far? Believe it or not, astronauts and cancer patients have very similar side effects and exercise can offset a lot of those side effects. Both astronauts floating in zero-g space and cancer patients experience similar damage to the body, including bone and muscle loss, a decrease in brain function, and a weakened heart. At NASA's Cutting Edge Exercise Lab, they're focused on how to keep the heart strong while enduring space flight. Why does space cause such an issue for the heart? Well, the heart doesn't have to work as hard to move blood through your body. It's a muscle. It's a muscle. So like with any muscle, for it to remain strong, uh, you need to work it out. Back in New York, Dr. Scott's study had cancer patients come into the clinic for their workouts. But then COVID-19 hit, almost putting an end to her research. But Dr. Scott and her team came up with an intriguing out-of-the-box solution, shipping treadmills to all participants along with a heart monitor, blood pressure cuff, and iPad so they can do the exercise sessions remotely. How's your heart rate, Lois? 150, great. The same way NASA's Mission Control monitors their astronauts in space. Like most participants in the study, Lois's exercise prescription is Monday through Friday with hard high intensity days and low intensity endurance days for 32 weeks. Study results are expected next year. But meanwhile, for patients like Lois, exercising like an astronaut is already paying off. Great workout, exhausting a little bit. Despite her cancer treatments, her heart is now pumping strong and healthy, so she can focus on the things she loves, like working at the library and playing tennis, and now her newest passion. I wouldn't trade for anything. I love my treadmill here, and she's very good to me. <laughs> it's one small step for Lois and one giant leap for cancer recovery. For Weekend Today, Dr. John Torres, NBC News, Houston. First, let me just say how much I love Lois, and I want yes. her mixtape. It feels like there's a little dancing queen in there or something. She is awesome. She's great, and we don't have the results yet, but just hearing how energized she feels, that's what matters. Yeah. We're wishing her the best, that's Rethinking for sure. Rethinking medicine, that's for sure. We're going to have a lot more on our series, Chasing the Cure, throughout NBC News, all next week. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.